Hi, I'm Ian Jones. I'm an engineer together with my sister Susan. Our basic premise is to uh, use um, scuba bottles, convert them to carry oxygen or high, um, high percentage uh, oxygen enriched air and uh, to use them either with an adapter to go to a medical uh, oxygen regulator and where those are in short supply we've come up with a way to use a scuba tank directly with a mask using a simple 3D piece that fits straight into the tank valve. I'm going to show you that now. This is a standard scuba tank. It's been the uh, oxygen clean and converted nitrox, which means oxygen rich air. It's currently got 36% uh, oxygen in it. And these valves here are quite common these days. They have an insert in them and quite a large hex uh, insert. And this insert is designed to come out so that the valve can be converted between uh, one of two different systems, an A-clamp or a DIN system. Uh, so you can see that comes out. And when this insert comes out, you can use it with a DIN system. Now, one way to use this tank is to oxygen clean these tanks and fill them with oxygen or high amount of nitro, uh, high enriched air. Um, one advantage with high enriched air, if it's less than 40% and it comes from a scuba shop, so it doesn't use, uh, it doesn't use oxygen from the industry. And what we can do is we can fit this little piece to it. And that goes from the scuba tank to this standard fitting, which is what the whole medical industry uses for emergency portable oxygen is called the, uh, pin index system. Um, so with that in place, you can fit a standard medical regulator as you can see we fitted the uh this adapter which is about 70 pounds uh, 140 dollars 200 dollars in australia uh the regulator goes onto there and you see this nipple here this nipple takes uh, a low pressure valve a low pressure mask so that feeds low pressure gas to here and you can adjust the volume of gas with this dose meter here and it feeds to this mask this is a non rebreather mask uh, but we won't go into the masks themselves right now but what we're saying that's this is great we can get these done they're already existing and you can get made up quickly but uh, if you can't get hold of these medical regulators, we come up with an additional solution. I'm sorry, I've just run the battery with my light. If we put the DIN plug insert back inside, then what we can do, we can 3D print an insert. Now, this is my mock-up. It's a, a drinking straw, a metal drinking straw. I don't know the exact size. There you go, the drinking straw is about 5 mil. So if we printed up a 3D piece and gave it a hex profile, it could go in here and you could use a bit of PTFE tape or you could use an O-ring to hold it in place. We'd put a flange on here and then we can cut, uh, we can make a clip to go over the top that would flick over the top to stop anything coming out. I've tried it already on full high flow and it doesn't want to fly out, but just for safety's sake, we put a retainer. This, uh, this long straw, unfortunately, I can't cut it down. My hacksaw didn't work. Um, so we'd have a nipple on this side, we'd have a hex container in here, and we could turn that on. And as you can see right now, with that turned on, it goes quite well and inflates this bag, which shows you that it oxygen is going to the mask. Okay, so obviously they've been gangly right now, but this would be one 3D printed piece and maybe a second 3D printed safety retainer if we felt it necessary. And uh, now. Now this valve is actually sensitive enough that I can up the pressure for flow if I need more flow, quite a high flow. Uh, yeah, I just have to be a bit sensitive with the thing. There we go again, it's turned down and we can turn it off now. That's our basic premise, two different solutions uh, depending on what equipment is available. One is using um, a metal uh, adapter to take it to existing gear but the main point is oxygen 
or high oxygen air is being delivered in bottles uh, donated by the scuba industry and private hands and the scuba industry will be responsible for filling them, oxygen servicing them and even delivering them. Uh, that's our presentation. That's our presentation and our group is called Scuba Aid and this project is the Oxygen Therapy Project. We have some other projects we're working on including a ventilator but it's the Scuba Aid Oxygen Therapy Project at the moment. Um, sorry for the quality of the video, we didn't want to let uh, perfection be the enemy of good enough right now. And um, if you've got any, any interest, talk to Ian Jones. My email is sharkyjones, that's without an E, S-H-A-R-K-Y-J-O-N-E-S at gmail.com or Susan, which is S-I-W-S-I-S-U-C at hotmail.com. Thank you.